Twitter, ça va être Twitch. Je vais aussi sur Twitter. Ah, c'est déjà meilleur. Quand je suis en train de faire un peu de temps, je vais vous donner un peu de temps. Je vais vous donner un peu de temps. En april 2010, Social Economic and Environmental Research Institute, Surrey, was tasked by the state government to prepare the five-year Penang blueprint for 2011 to 2015. The committee was chaired by uh, former PDC general manager as well as former Garakan senator, Datu Sri Chek Singh. We intend to have it as a non-partisan uh, paper or document so that it has widest possible acceptance in the community. Now, this uh, Bing Chen Da Lan Tu, 二零一到二零一五的这个计划，社会经济与环境研究的研究的这个研究所，Surrey是在去年四月由州政府指指派去准备这个大蓝图。那这个委员会是由前槟城发展机构的这个呃创设时的这个总经理，一九七一年到一九
it is right for him to say, given that he is the minister in charge of Pemandu, he is the chairman of Pemandu, and I, I'm just uh, perplexed, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know why he was saying this, and uh, just for the sake of saying, he should be endorsing a joint Penang Federal uh, Greater Penang Transformation Program and see through it, make it happen, and push for it. Oh, I just said that. We made this. We made this process clear. That is, last year, in June 2010, the Ministry of Home Affairs asked for this research. But before that, the Ministry has already done the basic research and the basic research. 那从四月到十月有大概二十场的讨论会，那讨论会有一些记者也有也有报道也有参与，有 X c o 的参与，有这个州政府官员的参与，有学界的参与。之后大概十二月的时候，就十一月结束了，十二月的时候我们就印了这一本，就传给内部的呃这个 X c o 还有行政议员还有这个官员去阅读，还有讨论。那到二月的时候，联邦政府提议说要合作，要有一个共同的计划。那如果联邦政府要有一个共同的计划，就冰城来说，冰城的选择是我们要和联邦政府合作，我们希望有一个共同的愿景，尤其在比如说在在交通、在房屋、呃，在工业的发展，没有联邦政府的配合，这个是不容易的。尤其在比如说我们讲高交通，交通每一个环节都是联邦政府控制的，那你你可以不不合作吗？我觉得。我们还是需要合作的，所以我们觉得说，我们就跟联邦政府有共同的计划。那这个正在讨论当中。那四月一号，首相跟林冠英有一个共同的文告，这共同的文告就清楚的写是说，冰山 blueprint 冰山大蓝图将会展延，直到联邦一起一起有这个呃怎么说共同的蓝图，共同的计划。所以我觉得。所有的人当中，莫名其妙的徐徐子根来谈这个事情，他应该比谁都清楚。他是本班度的主席，他应该比谁都清楚这个事情。So item number one, any question? I'm also as surprised as Jin Tong why uh Dr. Kosu uh Dan Sui uh Dr. Kosu Kun is questioning and and making this challenge to uh the chief minister of the Ruling Guan Eng. Um. Unless he is sleeping on the job, or he is just trying to pick up a fight with the CM, I do not know. But I think it is both, lah. <laughs> both in the sense that uh, this, Dr. Kosukun is the chairman of Pemandu, and uh, Idris Jala is the CEO. When uh, Idris Jala visited the Chief Minister in uh, February, I was also invited. And as late as the uh, 2nd of June, that is uh, just about 10 days ago, 11 days ago, uh, in Penang, and, you know, in, and of all places in uh, uh, Wawasan University, <laughs> the lab will be held in Wawasan University uh, over 6 to 8 weeks. And unless, of course, this officer uh, has not... Uh, uh, have no blessing from Tan Sri Kos, Dr. Kosukun uh, on their own accord they come to meet with government exco uh, to do briefing and and uh, talk about what they want to do uh, the specific outcome that they, they're trying to achieve economic specialization livability and integrated hub they even met with the uh, consultant uh, of our Penang Transport Master Plan because all of this effort must be put together, we cannot be doing things uh, separately. Uh, as Greater Penang means also South Kedah, uh, Sungai Petani, Kulim and Northern Perak. It is also a collaboration of uh, the other state government, uh, Penang, Kedah and Perak. All these are the stakeholders to be involved in the Greater Penang Master Plan from uh, Pemandu, from the various state governments, from various federal agencies, state agencies, NGOs, investors like Kazana, GLCs, NCIA and NCER. Everybody working 
working together for the Greater Penang Master Plan. Kosukun doesn't know all about this. He's the chairman of Pemandu. So it is both for what I say, sleeping on the job and also trying to pick up a political fight when there is none. Where, when the Chief Minister of Penang and the Penang State Government has uh, committed ourselves to the federal government on this Greater Penang Master Plan, I don't think Tan Sri Kosukun, because of his narrow political interest in Penang, should question uh, this national effort to make uh, Penang the hub of this Greater Penang Master Plan. Uh, uh, development of the Greater Penang Convention. So just because he has a little bit of quarrel with uh, Lim Wan Ying, doesn't mean he needs to question the whole Penang uh, Greater Penang Master Plan. Uh, and also uh, talking about why the blueprint was not announced. It was not announced because we want to hold it. We want this to be adopted also. And in, in fact, the labs were also, uh, the first two weeks of the labs were <coughs> allowed the Penang uh, agencies uh, to talk about what we have already prepared. Not even go into actual, actual, actual doing, just publicity and talking itself, uh, according to Kosukun, it cost the government 27.6 million ringgit. Uh, of course, you will say that oh, it costs very little, da, 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 but I would want to know who is actually the advertising agency behind this contract, uh, who advises the government on, communi on communication uh, as far as GTP and ETP is concerned, and why is it costing this and not? A cheaper amount. I also noticed that uh, from yesterday onwards, there's something else called my flag. Now this is a separate initiative. Huh? This is a separate initi initiative by uh, EPU, if I'm if I'm not wrong, uh, to advertise the Tan Malaysia plan. I think it comes a bit late, but I think this is not necessarily a good trend where the government uh, spent all the public money to do advertising when it's already con controlling all the newspaper. When it's already already controlling all the mainstream newspaper, uh, why why is such need to spend public funds for this sort of advertisement? Okay, this is Dama Tiva the Zika Tia Sao Lai. Uh Mobi Chima Tu and Jen uh Kangan launch uh Jordan Kai Siyo. Uh Tsuga Yesu Hua China.